Join me, 48 Hours Correspondent Erin Moriarty, on my podcast, My Life of Crime, as I take on true crime investigations like no other. This season, I'm looking into the labyrinth of crime and secrets within families. I'm cutting straight to the evidence and talking to the people directly involved, including investigators and the families of victims. Listen to My Life of Crime with Aaron Moriarty wherever you get your podcasts. This episode is brought to you by Marvel Studios Echo. All episodes streaming January 9th, only on Hulu and Disney+. Plus. Rated TV MALV. Viewer discretion advised. Maya Lopez has betrayed her mentor, the notorious Kingpin. Now on the run, she returns to her hometown to prepare for the biggest fight of her life. Don't miss Marvel Studios' hardest-hitting series yet. An epic five-episode event. Marvel Studios Echo. All episodes streaming January 9th, only on Hulu and Disney+. Plus. This is a Rogue Media Network podcast. Hey y'all, I'm April. And I'm Caroline. And And this this is your bloody happy hour. Caroline, are you ready for this? This is your newest guilty pleasure. It's the bloodiest part of your week. Did we say something about it also being happy hour? Showed in. Because we about to be sipping on some murder. Bloody happy hour. Caroline, you should tell them about the newest thing that Bloody Happy Hour is doing. A Patreon. It's a Patreon. What is that? Um, that means you're basically like a VIP member and you get you get some perks. You maybe get like merch a little earlier. You get Or exclusive merch. Exclusive merch. You could get um First dibs on signing up for a live show. You get episodes with no commercials. You get our video because our video is no longer available on YouTube. It is only on Patreon. And the most important to me is you get videos of our live shows, but also bonus episodes each month. But if you're on a Patreon, you're VIP, you're going to get more. Because I always have a lot of details I want to go to. I can law explain. I might read a book. (laughs) This is also going to be the exclusive place that Dirty Chat is going to go to. In order to hear the full content, it's going to be Patreon. Where do they go again? Patreon.com slash bloody happy hour. Hey, y'all, this is April. Oh, man. Can you not slam your phone down? That's why I said it afterwards. <laughs> but let me put it in my pajamas <laughs> just in case. Okay. Hey, y'all. This is April. And this is Caroline. And turn up Tuesday time. We are here. We are here. Where are you? Did we tell y'all we're in our new office in the Alico? Did we tell them that? I don't know, but I was going to bring that up too. Even though it's been four weeks. So <laughs> I did just think I, yes, I was going to do the same. I was going to do the same. We have a new location. And you, if you can't see us, it's fine. We look great. Oh. Yeah, I have on this new blazer, I have these <laughs> shoulder pads, I'm wearing a brooch. April's got a hat with the, like, with the mask. Like a Kentucky Derby hat? No, you like, it's like a net over your face, like you're coming from a funeral. A funeral? Yeah. Oh, am I in mourning? I don't know. It's just what you're wearing. Why are you wearing that? <laughs> um, so we, we are actually, we can see the view of Waco right now, and it's a great view. So it's if you've ever been to Waco, it's the biggest and oldest building here. We've basically made it for filming in Alico. Oh, yeah. I mean, I can see McLean Stadium, the Dr. Pepper Museum, the silos. Um, how much? Uh, pretty where do we go from here? People? I mean, we're on the 21st floor. We could go to the 24th. Or we just go down from there. <laughs> we go. But we won't. All right. Today is the day that we give y'all all the news. Anything that is in the news, we start off with true crime, but you know what? Sometimes we get a little off and we'll tell you some drama, some celebrity news, or whatever. So send us the articles that catches your eye during the week, too. Caroline, what you got? Well, I don't know if you heard about this, um, something that happened in Alabama. 
It oh. was like a riverboat. Yeah. Are you starting what, off what with it? Are you starting strong? I mean, I just needed to. <laughs> or I'll just tease you and finish with that one. <laughs> starting strong. No, but oh, there was this brawl. I, but we'll 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 bring that back at the end of the episode. I just remember I was like, are you looking at all this video from the Alabama Riverfront brawl? And you were like, I don't know who that is. Well, I, you, <laughs> you said Montgomery... Alab- yeah, no, Montgomery you said Mo- the Montgomery brawl, and I was thinking if I was like Adam Montgomery because he's on tr- or he's allegedly murdered his daughter. So I was like, does it have something to do with that guy? You know about yeah. him, Adam Montgomery, Harmony no. Montgomery. Nope. Only Montgomery I've been obsessed with is Montgomery, Alabama. Well, <laughs> so then I was like, wait, what? So then, of course, I go straight to Twitter, and, you know, that's where I find all the news and is, all the is videos. It or is it Ugh, X? X, I don't know. It's so confusing. It's the whole, the, but the blue bird is gone, and it's this black X. Mine's still there, so maybe I'm not updated yet. Yeah, oh. I still have the blue bird. It, mine just updated. It just on its one own. day was there. Um, did we talk about, oh, we're going to come back to that. We're going to save that for the end. Oh. But did we talk about the um, Alexi Trevino, the girl that had the baby in the hospital? Uh-uh. I don't think so. This girl, Alexi Trevi- Trevizio. Okay. Trevizio. She was 19. She went, well, she's a cheerleader. She's an Oh, well, yeah. no, she wasn't in high school. She's 19. Maybe she's just ending high school. Anyway, well, she, if she was a cheerleader. Anyway, she was. Four, maybe four. I thought she did it when she was in high school. I know the story now. Okay, yeah. So she goes, she's like having back pain and her hips are hurting. And she's like, I don't know what's wrong. And she goes to the hospital and she um, was hooked up to IVs. She's, I'm assuming they. They asked her if she was pregnant and uh, just verbally, and she said no. And then they start running tests and stuff, but then she has to get up and go to the bathroom. Mm -hmm. Now, this is where it's a little fuzzy because I don't know if they, like, unhooked her or if she unhooked herself from IVs or whatever. She goes to the bathroom Hold it's on video. She's like holding her butt as she's going there. And then she locks herself in the bathroom for, like, ten minutes then comes out of the bathroom, goes back into her room, and just She's is normal. like, everything's whatever. But they were beating on the door. But she told him she was a virgin. I'm, I couldn't be pregnant. I'm a virgin. No way. No way. And she, Bloody they mess realized in the she bathroom. Was in the bathroom too long. So they, like, busted in on her. Yes. they. Bu- well, did they bust it on her while she was still in there? They were trying. They had to go yeah, get the doctor. Was, and, yeah. try and, and then so she comes out like, oh, Oh, yeah, okay. yeah, 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 yeah. And then they go and they find a bloody mess. And then they're like, well, maybe. And she said she started her period or something like that. And then they find a baby in the trash can wrapped in plastic. Mm. Like a plastic. I guess she took one of the extra bags, wrapped it up, put it in the bottom of the trash can, and then put another layer of the fresh trash bag over it so it was kind of covering it. But so then she goes in and then the nurse is like, oh, my gosh, what? what?" And so they talk to her and the mom's in there and this is like a bunch of it's on body cam. And she's like, we found a baby (laughs) in the trash can. And the mom was like, a baby? And she's like, yeah, a baby. And like how she's like it. And then the girl's like, it didn't it didn't make any sound. It wasn't it wasn't making any noises. It wasn't making any noises. And then. The mom was like, well, how far along was this baby? And they were like, nine months. And they were uh, like, full term? And she's like, I didn't know. It wasn't It wasn't making noise. Just like it was just it, a still yeah. like an alien thing. Uh, so now after, okay, then they, they get released and blah, blah, blah. And she, well, you know, talks to the police for a little bit and stuff. Ends up getting to go home. Just starts living her life like nothing ever happened. Mm-hmm. And then all of a sudden, police show up to the house with the warrant. But mom is like, well, why do you want to see her? Well, let me see the warrant. You can't take her without the warrant. This, 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 blah, blah, blah. And they're like, ma'am, we actually can whatever. They end up t- getting her, arrest her, charge her with, uh, what was she charged with? Manslaughter? Yeah. <laughs> so she says that... 
she temperament was works. on this weight loss drug, but then the toxic. So then they did a they did a because uh, she was like, I don't know why I'm gaining weight. So she gets on phenamine. Phenamine. Yeah. Uh-huh. And so then the baby has <gasps> traces of that. That's a- mean so that's some type of methamphetamine right um oh baby oh the baby the baby tested positive for covid for influenza a and b apparently had sars and homegirl alexi was like repeatedly denying she was ever pregnant she never thought she was she never nothing even though her, she, you, you could tell she was in her cheerleading outfit. Oh, she's pregnant. <laughs> like, so she's arrested in May, charged with first degree murder, and alternatively abusing a child, resulting in death, and tampering with evidence. How do you have all those diseases? COVID, A, B, C, flu, or COVID. Flu A, flu B, and SARS. What was that? I forgot. I remember that, but I don't even remember what that was. So she was like, his he never used his hands. He anything? had he had hair, and he was purple ish, and he wasn't bruised or nothing like that. He was purple pink skin color, and he wasn't making any noises. This is what she said. Oh God! And then they had to. Whenever she was still in the hospital, they had to th- rush her to a different unit to deliver the placenta. Mm. Well, now they're coming back, and they are suing the hospital for the, negligence. The Trevino people are? Yes. <laughs> oh, gosh. For negligence, because they said if, like, she had come in there complaining of this back pain, but they're saying that they gave her these medications that caused the baby's death, and that it wasn't her that caused the baby's death. It was the medication that caused the baby to die, but then she just went and had it and left it there. But it was all, not mm. her, not due to her fault. It was the duty of the hospital. Yeah, the medicine made her put it in the trash can and double wrap it <laughs> and leave. <laughs> oh, people are stupid. And by the way, while she was, after she had had the baby and was home for that ex- a few months or whatever, she did go to prom with her boyfriend. That the b- they need to do a DNA test. <laughs> but she was not permitted to attend graduation. So she's, um, I guess, just there. That, yeah, so that, like that, that happened. Now they're filing a suit against the hospital. And so it's going to be this whole big thing. Oh, gosh. And now a word from our sponsors. All right, if you love smoothies or if you love your protein in the morning, you need to get you a Blend Jet. You can do that if you go into blendjet.com. If you enter the code BHH12, you get a discount. And let me tell you, these things are portable. They are easy to use. They can fit in your cup holder. You can have it at home or you can have it in your office like I do. Right this morning, I had my blueberry banana one mm, how was with it? some chia seed. It wasn't chunky or anything? It was very smooth. Wow. When I have it in my shaker, it is a little chunky. Oh, so this is wow. a great alternative. I love it. Um, it is battery powered, so all you have to do is plug it in every two weeks, and the battery never runs down. Oh, my gosh. I love battery-powered things. Go to Blendjet's and order you a Blendjet and get a discount. Thanks, April, for sharing. Did you know you could be putting oil and chemicals in your coffee? I love coffee creamer, but I don't think I've ever turned the bottle around to actually see what's inside. When I did, I found out many of my favorite creamers contain ingredients I would never intentionally add to my coffee cup, like canola oil, dipotassium phosphate, ew, and artificial flavors. 
Laird Superfood all started when big wave surfer Laird Hamilton needed morning fuel that could allow him to spend the entire day chasing the ultimate wave. He couldn't find anything in the market that met his ingredient standards, so made himself the ultimate plant-based creamer. Laird Superfood started and launched its first product, Original Superfood Creamer, in 2015. Laird Superfoods contain no artificial flavors, colors, or additives, and no sugars from highly refined corn syrup. All Laird products are sustainably sourced and thoroughly tested to ensure that you're incorporating the cleanest, finest fuel into to your routine. All Laird products are also made of all natural whole food ingredients and they are crafted from the highest quality all natural real food ingredients. Are you ready to feel more energized, focused, and supported? Go to LairdSuperfood.com and add nourishing plant-based foods to fuel you from sunrise to sunset. Use our promo code BOO at checkout to save 15% off your purchase today. Um... If she's telling the truth that it was born, maybe stillborn, all she had to do is call the freaking people. Uh, she could have just stayed she, in the bed and had it there. <laughs> <laughs> so do we think she knew she was pregnant? I I I have heard of people having yeah. babies and not, but like I don't I can't <laughs> understand it how you don't know. Was she Mexican too? Trevino? Yeah. Because on not, wait, what's it called? I I was pregnant or were they always having kids in the toilet? They're always Hispanic too. <laughs> so I was listening to some radio station. Well, then the mom was getting so mad at her like, ah, Alex, I told you not to have the baby. I told you not to do this. And all those girls that have the babies and then they go to jail <laughs> or something. Like, I don't know what she told her not to do. Told her not to have sex. Like, I don't know. Don't I, throw the baby in the trash can? I guess. But then the mom's like, I didn't know. I'm like, mom? you. I th- This is what happened, I think. I think the mom knew and was like waiting for her to tell me, to tell her. Uh-huh. Like she's like, I know deep down, but she's not telling me that mm-hmm. she is. Oh, she has back pain. Oh, let's take her to the hospital. And just probably was waiting for her to be like, yeah, bitch, I knew you were pregnant. Yeah. Let's have the baby. But then I guess she sneaked off to the bathroom. I mean, you're Hispanic. Like you're 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 supposed to have a lot have of kids. People have babies all the time. You actually you're the, a little bit too late because <laughs> you're 19. It should happen at 15. Quinceañera. That's what you do. <laughs> you have baby the next day after your quinceañera. What did the radio station say you were going to say? Oh, they said. Uh, I think I used to listen to Johnny Strange in the morning. It was the bear. And so he would talk about the show where they didn't know they were pregnant. And he was like, how are they always Hispanic? And you know, his, they've already had four kids before, so they know what it feels like to be pregnant. How are they shocked and they have a baby in the toilet? But it happens all the time. It's called a phantom? No. Phantom is when you are body you think you're pregnant but you're really not. But it's something opposite of that where it's a pregnancy with no symptoms, no anything, and then you just have the baby. There's a name for it, whether it's whether it's real or I cannot people are lying, even there's understand a name for it. any of that because I feel like there's some certain key elements that kind of tell you that you are pregnant. Listen, I think I'm pregnant all the time and I don't even have the uterus and stuff to do it, but I'm still panicked that I'll, I'm pregnant. Don't let me like feel a flutter, and I'm like, did a baby just kick? And I can't even have kids. <laughs> oh, I so just know. think you're pregnant all the time, and this will never happen. I mean, I, yeah. So that's that's number one. Then let's go to the Bahamas. You want to? Mm-hmm. Did you hear about this? Mm-hmm. So we have Lindsay and Robert Shiver. Lindsay Shiver is the old fancy wifey. So they met in uh, Auburn University in 2007. He played football. She was a cheerleader. He went on and tri- um, played for the Atlanta Falcons for five seconds. He basically tried out and was cut in 2009. Mm. He becomes this executive vice president for senior life insurance company, and then she is a stay-at-home mom. Stay-at-home mom. Okay. So in March 2010, they get married. They have three boys. The boys are now like four, six, and ten. 
And they live in this, you know, measly $2.5 million Mm. home in Thomasville, Georgia. So, you know, they're doing okay. Robert's family comes from money. Okay. So his dad was the CEO of a baking company called Flower Foods. And this this company was like a five billion dollar company. Oh, with the B. With the B. Mm. They have this private jet and like the family will go and they go to Bahamas all the time and a abaco? A abaco? They have a property on Baker's Bay Island, which is this private country club golf course. Yeah, I go there. Every year. I mean, yeah, I went there last week. <laughs> it's ultra exclusive. It also my favorite, Tom Brady. He has a place there. Justin Timberlake has a place mm. there. Michael Jordan, Tiger Woods, all these people have okay. homes there. So they just, you know, go there and come back and just whatever. Well, on April 5th. Oh, my birthday. Oh, well, look what happened. Robert filed for divorce. Mm. He claimed adulterous conduct. Okay. Claimed that Lindsay was not entitled to alimony since she was able-bodied to work. He requested joint legal custody and sole fiscal custody of the kids. Oh. As well as getting their Georgia home with all the furniture, the car, and he There's your put a restraining order against her There's for harassment. Motive. But then on April 6th, the day after. Oh, the next day. This bitch going to come back. Wait. She did not take a minute to <laughs> breathe. She came back filing her own claim saying that during the time of their, sep- during the time uh, they were separated and it was legally condoned by her husband for her to have an affair. Oh. And that since she was the main caretaker of the kids, she couldn't, she had limited employment options. So she needed to have sole custody. And she'd been out of the workforce for so many years. So, like, she, she couldn't get a job. Mm, she that's just a needs, good case. Yeah. So she claimed that Robert uh, abused her in the home in front of the kids on multiple occasions. And that it was not only physically, but it was mentally and emotionally. And she even had to have locks installed on her doors. Mm. Does she have any proof of any of this? Well, uh, maybe she does. And now a word from our sponsors. I'm your puzzle pal, and I'm going to tell you about my latest obsession, Wongo Puzzles. These things are the real deal, folks. They're high quality, handcrafted, and perfect for anyone who loves a good challenge, but doesn't want to dedicate their entire kitchen table to puzzles for a week. Trust me, I've been there. (laughs) I might still be there. But I got one of these actually for Christmas. I loved it. I did it, and I was so proud of myself. And they have all these cool designs, and you need to go to wongopuzzles.com and use our discount, BHH. You get 10% off, and I really want to know if you'll order one of these puzzles. How would you think about it? Because it's so fun, and I need to order, like, five. Cure hydration. If you are obsessed with your hydration like I am, this may be something good for you. This is something that is so easy Forget about the Gatorade. That just dehydrates you even more. And if you don't like the taste of coconut water, try Cure Hydration. You can go to my offer link. It is zen, Z-E-N dot A-I slash B-H-H 20. This is vegan. It's no added sugars. It's just a little packet you could put in your water. Or if you're really smart during happy hour, you could put it into your Tito's. It is just as effective as an IV drip. And it's... If you don't not like the taste of water, it's not as boring as water, not as sugary as the sports drink. And if you're an athlete, it'll give you the best performance. Or if you just get brain frog or headaches because you do not stay hydrated. Brain frog? Brain fog. (laughs) The solution is... Cure hydration. So go to that link, enter the code. You can go to my offer link. It is zen, Z E N dot A I slash B H H 20. Cure hydration. But 
Needless to say, this was a very contentious divorce with a custody battle that was about to just get started. So July 20th, they were supposed to meet and have this, did these, do these depositions and do all this stuff and blah, blah, blah. But instead, she was arrested. Now, why was she arrested? Well, she go to hirehitman.com. She actually didn't. <laughs> she should have been smarter then. So the past several months leading up to this, she had been going back and forth from Georgia to the Bahamas to the. How do you say? How do you say the. The movie that Johnny Depp was in, Pirates of the Caribbean. Okay. Oh. Or Caribbean. Yeah. I know. It's Pirates of the Caribbean, but it's the Caribbean islands. Right? Yeah. Okay. So, anyway, she's back and forth from Georgia to the Caribbean, Caribbean, and she hooks up with this guy who works at a bar up there, and they had been hanging out for a while, and she just became completely obsessed with this guy. Her family tried to say, like, no, no, stay, like, don't get into this, but they were in love, April, Mm-mm. and he was in love with her, and she and was in love was with him. he was a bartender? And he was a bartender. So oh the Bahama bartender, he, the, the place where he worked had a break in. And so they thought, the police thought that it was some, somebody internally who had broken it. So then they are going through the employee's phones. Uh-huh. They're like, hey, let me see your phone. We need to make sure you didn't break in. I don't know why they needed to see his phone, but <clears throat> that's what they did. Well, then as they're looking through his phone, they come across these messages on whatsapp Uh so if you don't know what whatsapp is that's like the messaging for over if you're like overseas overseas and stuff like you can it's like text message so they come across this and they um they see these messages from the bartender the bahama bartender and they are sent to this friend of his who is the hitman Mm mm-hmm Farron Newbold, Newbold, and said in this message that he wanted, hey, hitman guy, I want you to murder Robert. <laughs> <laughs> and then they also found a picture that the wife had sent to the hitman. It was a picture of Robert, the husband, uh-huh. and with instructions on, like, instruction to murder him. This all happened on July 20th, which was the same day that they were supposed to have their depositions. Yeah. But instead, she's getting arrested, and then they're all getting arrested. So they said that, okay, let me tell you who the people are. All all their name. Oh, so Lindsay's 36. Her little Bahama boy is Terrence Bethel. He's 28. And the hitman is 29. Mm. So. I don't think I knew there's two. Well, because it's her boo. And then it was the third one who Uh was the friend of the boo who was the hitman. Mm. So they all three were arrested and for plotting to kill Robert. Right. And they're charged with conspiracy to commit murder, which is 30 to 60 years of a sentence. 30 to 60 years for conspiracy. People who actually murder get like five (laughs) years. This is wild. So they, okay, so then they arrested and then they post bond or bail or whatever. And she's arrested in the Bahamas, right? Yes. So she's arrested. This is, yeah. So I'm not sure. Yes. She was arrested in the Bahamas and She gets released on a $100,000 bail agreement. Now, she gets to wear this fancy new ankle bracelet. Mm. Um, It's also a, it it doubles as a ankle monitor. Oh. Hmm, How cute. I mean, if I'm going to be, have to be somewhere on lock, it probably needs to be Bahamas. Not only is it, not only that, okay, she is, has, has to stay on this rented property <laughs> in Nassau, Nassau, on uh, a condo on Cable Beach. That's where I got married. In Nassau. I don't know what beach it was, though. Oh. 
Well, it was probably Cable Beach. Let's just say it was. Yeah, you've been there. So she has to report to the police station three times a week, and she has to abide by a curfew, and she has to be at, at her residence from 8 p.m. to 6 a.m. Oh, so a bitch can spend all day on the beach, <laughs> get all the sun, <laughs> swim up She could bar. be with her boo thing. She just said, oh, I got to be home by 8. Mm. Oh, to go to sleep? Time to go to wow. bed, yeah. What a... What she a can work rough. out, jog on so, the beach. And she can't go within 100 feet of her estranged husband. Mm, she don't want to And anyways. she has to surrender her passport. Oops. Don't. <laughs> oh, my bad. She, um, once she was released, so she spent like three weeks in prison before she's able to get the money to get out. But when she finally was released to go to her, you know, condo, mm-hmm. she's um, spotted by the reporters or whatever and she's wearing actually she's wearing a like a sling bag yeah like a uh-huh. lululemon sling crossbody bag uh-huh. she got a nike hat on she got her golden goose on <laughs> she's looking real bougie coming out of this jail house going straight into her condo <laughs> meanwhile robert's pissed because he's paying for all that and she's trying to get his ass killed and she was like, I'm having such a really a, a rough time, and now I'm having issues with my car, and I have to deal with that on top of everything else. But I'm just so sorry. I can't say anything else, but thank you for being respectful. <laughs> I can't. Uh-huh. So that's where we are with that. And they say that it's all made up and, like, oh, that's the, the Bahama boyfriend was like, I, the police had my phone for three weeks. They could. They've gone through everything. Oh, There's nothing it's a there. Doubt. I would even think that, like the shiv, the Roberts family. You can even argue that they have enough money uh, and enough power, yes. to have that shit put on her phone to set her up. I a hundred percent think she's that. gonna be. She's just getting a vacation. Yeah, is she, and she real cute. Yeah, she okay, was like yeah, a Miss free. Peanut Country or something. She won like Miss Little Peanut. <laughs> she won. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. It's like Miss Peanut Park. Oh, Peanut that's Bill. That's to be proud of. It was like some beauty contest or something. Yeah, she's she'll be fine. <sighs> now let's get to the good she'll stuff. She'll just get a good little vacation. <clears throat> well, let's end where we began, which is in Alabama. Woo! Royal Rumble. So. As we discussed, uh, I was not aware that this was happening until I became aware and I became obsessed. So uh, basically what happened is these a group of people went on the Harriet, which was this little ferry boat. It's basically they take a 40-minute tour. They just go mm-hmm. down the river and come back. Mm-hmm. And this is a set a tour that's been going on. Everybody who lives there knows that this thing, it's just... $40 to go, whatever, have a drink, talk with people, and look at the river. And they're coming back to park the boat, the ferry, and there's this pontoon boat that's where they're supposed to park. Now, everybody who's anybody knows that that's where the Harriet parks, mm-hmm. and you don't need to park there because that's where the Harriet parks. They used to have signs, but the signs pff, blew away. Okay, the signs that said Harriet parking only, they done blown away. So the co-captain of the boat, so they're, they're circling. They're like announcing on the loudspeaker, please, if you have a pontoon boat, people, yeah. move the boat. We need to park the Harriet. For 45 minutes. So they're circling for 45 minutes. Then they get this little boat to come over and pick up the co-captain from the big Harriet. Co-captain drives over to the shore, goes tries to get the people to move the boat, they wouldn't move the boat. So he unties it and just scoots it up a little bit and then ties it back. Mm -hmm. What's the big deal? You wouldn't come move it. This big, huge ferry is parking. You're trespassing. And so homeboy comes down and is like, why are you moving my boat? And then security guard is like, because we're trying to park the Harriet. And he's like, no, man, I want my boat parked right here, exactly in this very spot. He's like, no, you can't. So then his friend comes, and he's like, I tell you, you can touch my boat. Why are you touching my boat? Now, listen, I made up this whole yeah. conversation <laughs> on my own because all you can see is pointing and, and this. And by the way, it's a black guy and a bunch of white people. Mm-hmm. All the security guard who was the co-captain was the black guy. And then the 
people who owned the pontoon boat or were renting this pontoon mm-hmm. boat or a bunch of white people. Also, it's like all of a sudden, the one of the pontoon boat guys is like, um, I'm just kind of, I don't like that you're talking to me anymore, so let me just punch you in the face. So then he starts beating him up, and then another guy jumps in, and all the pontoon boat people start jumping in on this security right. guard. Yeah. So it's like five white guys on the black guy. Which he's big, but he can't. he's he's not defending himself very well. <laughs> well, he threw up his hat, and it was the best. And took off his shirt. <laughs> no, not the best. Security guard did not take off his shirt. That was him. No. Or afterwards, wasn't oh, it? Oh, oh. <laughs> so how many times I watched this video? So he, yeah. So he's sitting there. He's like getting beat up. And then you got some people who start coming down from the crowd, I guess, because there's people that are watching. And then finally the Harriet parks. And that's when it, when the Harriet finally parked, like, th- and well, let me not forget about Black Aquaman. Uh huh. So Cuba the Scuba Jr. <laughs> wait, Scuba? <laughs> wait. Scuba Gooden Jr. <laughs> there were so many names. So the people in the Harriet, this one dude jumps off. He swims across over to where the pontoon is. He's trying to, like, defend his honor. Like, my man is getting beat up. I got to get over there. By the time he gets there, he came, he's, like, out of breath. Like, he's a, never swam that far before. So then when the, pon- when the Harriet finally docks, then that's that's when you see there's like three black guys. They uh-huh. had their shirts taken off and they're just like ready to go. And then the people still are like they still, still have the not boat. left. <laughs> and then this is when it turns into an all out brawl because it started and then it stopped and there uh-huh. was some separation. But then when it par- when it, they parked the actual boat, it ju- it reescalated, yes. reescalated. And so then you got. These are the four people who have been arrested. They were arrested for the white people. Richard Roberts. They got Mary Todd, Alan Todd, and Zach, Zachary Shipman. And all these people, their names were out there within 30 <laughs> minutes. Their business. Their business. Their they deleted their Facebook, everything. All the, I mean, it's they got it. They got the worst. Well, then, let's not forget about Reggie Gray. Is that the chair guy? Now, Reggie Gray <laughs> is the 6'4", 250-pound linebacker. He over here got a folding chair. Got grandma over here, 68-year-old grandma laying sprawled out on the ground, and she's just trying to, you know, live her life. She's unarmed, white lady, and just get, bam, whacked with a chair on top of the head. I mean, come on now. So... I don't know how all these people are. I'm just making all that up. But this Reggie guy did start coming in there with WWE style, your type of stuff, slamming the chair. I was like, I've not seen, like if y'all have ever seen Royal Rumble, it was was literally a Royal Rumble with the chairs. My inner WWF came out. And then when the TikTok video with the Stone Cold music came out, (laughs) that was the best. But here's what I like is, there wouldn't obviously people were hurt, but people don't do that anymore. The chicken shit. They don't just fight and get some scrapes and bruises and done. It's always shooting or killing or like damaging stuff, right? This was like street fighting, like it yeah. used to be back in the day. You just kick off your shoes, you whoop ass or you get your ass whooped, and then like you're done. No guns came out, no, no knives, knives came out. Yeah. There was a chair. Um, it was folding. It was folded up. But man, did it add to it! And then the <laughs> women got in on it. These like white uh, women. Those, I were like, and they are about they, it. Yes. They were jumping. And then the on. one guy was like, "Get girl, get off of me!" And threw her straight up in the river. She didn't <laughs> crash to the river. Um, and then the women that joined. Well, what I like, I had to look because I did not see a male 
versus a female. No. It was always, because these women got in. Now, some of them look like men because they had the short hair, but they had the earrings and they had the boobs. It was women came in and handled the women. Men came in and handled the men. Oh, yeah, because the black lady in the all white, she came in, she starts kicking grandma while grandma on the ground, and then she's kicking it, her, and the other lady's kicking her, and then chair guy comes over and he bangs a chair. I mean, it was a whole production. It was, don't try this here. And then, so, it's like. Don't try this in a small town. Here we go. <laughs> they were like. So, and that's all the posts that I saw is, I guess they tried that in a small town. Fuck around and found out. Oh, they, they, that's exactly <laughs> what, that's exactly. So, uh, I, I obviously, the, I don't know why these people couldn't just move their damn boat. I think they're drunk and belligerent and entitled. And, but what the good thing is, it's, though you can't, though you're surprised, the security guard did come out and say there was a lot of derogatory and cussing, oh, yeah. but there was nothing racially said. So, but I imagine on that cruise boat, like where the black people were on the cruise. Oh, yeah. They could only imagine what was like being said, right? Like you got this white guy pissed at this black guy. Like Cause you can imagine what was being said and stewed over. Which is why I did that. <laughs> yes. Um, but the security guard did say there were no like N words thrown or like nothing racially, which was crazy. But... Some of the black people were like, this is PTSD, because back in the day, when a, when a black guy would try to do that overstep to a white person, they would put them on display, basically. So you're going to whip them with the whip, or you're going to whoop their ass, or you're going to hang them, but so that all the other black people around there can see, and they're setting an example. Like, this is what happens when you try a white person, right? So that was like... Oh, hell no. This is not way back then. This is now. We can whoop your ass now. <laughs> yeah, I mean. It, and that's what happens. Like, he, you jumped on an innocent man. He had nobody around. He got his butt whooped. Yeah. But when they got to shore, they came to his rescue. And whoever got in it should get an assault charge because it is assault. Oh, but yeah. nobody died. No. Yeah. It's not racially motivated. Or at least it didn't start off that way. It probably ended up being that way because the workers, the women, like in the blue shirts, they worked for the people and they got fired. So they were like, I don't give a shit if you fire me, but you're, I'm just not going to let it happen. Yeah. So they're the ones like pushing, beating the women and pushing the girls in the water. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it was so dumb. It was unnecessary. <laughs> and then the security guards who were like barely walking to stop it like it's like nobody they were like what is happening everybody's drunk and what are we doing is this real <laughs> life i feel like the black security guards wanted to let these people get their ass whooped for a little bit so they just like tippy toed to them <laughs> they were like let me just walk as low as i can so they can get their ass whooped but man the people were just over here just swinging like it, it was, was, it was wild if you haven't seen any of the videos it's you called bloody saturday you've got to go it's, it's officially a holiday look <laughs> look at look it up it's crazy yeah what else uh, uh i think that's it um any popcorn corner any court tv corner controversy corner any more corners i have been obsessed with that that i haven't caught up with um anything else yep well, there you go. We do need a shout out to number. We're going to shout out today and we're going to shout out on Thursday's episode. But if you have not, if you're not on our Patreon, you need to go to our Facebook page and check out number one fan, Matt. O-M-G. He, he did not get a henna. It is not a henna. It he is loves not. Us so much. He <laughs> got a tattoo with Caroline in my face. How special <laughs> is that? Actually, it's just the Bloody Happy Hour logo. Which we just changed. We j It is. <laughs> You'll see it. The new logo's coming out next week. <laughs> Shout out, Matt. He's been number one fan since the beginning. And I we'll, told him that's only four red flags. 
Yeah. <laughs> just four. That's, yeah, I, I need at least three more. Yeah. yeah. Caroline's not even alarmed yet. No, it's only four. No, <laughs> no. This is just this is just territory. This is normal territory. <laughs> this is where I live. This is where I stay. Yeah. Anyways, Matt, love it, love it, love it. Okay, that is it. Um, we'll see y'all Thursday for Thirsty Thursday. Mm-hmm. Okay, don't forget to. Stay aware. Stay alive. And always be DTF. Bye. Bye. Oh, Shaquille O'Gills. Sea murder. <laughs> Wait, what? The scuba guy. Shaquille oh. O'Gills. Everybody has a story worth telling. I'm Corey Duncan. On Best Story Ever, I take guests that you know through their most unique and captivating stories. The best part? I hear the story for the first time when you do. Everyone has a story. What's yours? Find Best Story Ever on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and anywhere you listen to podcasts. Hola, yo soy Jackie. Y yo soy Jessica. Y esto es Zona del Crimen. Un podcast donde hablaremos sobre casos de crímenes reales y eventos impactantes que han quedado marcados a través del tiempo. Recuerden que nos pueden seguir en Facebook, Instagram o donde escuches tus podcasts favoritos. Hey, I'm Blair. And I'm Brittany. And we're the host of By, By the, the Cover, Cover Podcast. Podcast. <laughs> we cover everything from mysteries, thrillers, romance, chiclet, and even some smut. Don't forget the smut. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're so excited to get this thing going and share this with you guys. We've been talking about this for months and it's finally, finally happening. Yes. Special shout out to Rogue Media for helping us with this. <laughs> for sure. For sure. You can find us on Instagram at by the cover underscore podcast. You can also find us on Facebook and TikTok. So don't forget to give us a follow on those two also. And we are so excited to dive into some of our favorite books and share those with you. We can't wait. Hope you love it. Hi, and welcome to Bustles and Bangers with your hostess, Rachel and Christopher. I love it when you say my name. And you didn't say hi. I didn't. You, you just kept going. I'm going to introduce the book. I'm <laughs> not reading it It's because I don't like reading. Girls like cowboy butts, you know, and those jeans don't hide anything. Mm. Find us on Instagram at Bustles and Bangers or on RogueMediaNetwork.com. This has been a Rogue Media Network production.